In model driven apps, we use a quick view form to show information about another related record on the screen. Here's an example. This is a customer service case. There's a customer. We've looked up who's the customer related to this case. And I want to see some information about their phone number, email address, and so on. And I can get that on the screen. Here's another example. And the one that I'm going to show you how to build in this video, I'm placing an order for a piece of equipment. And in the context of placing that order, I look up which piece of equipment am I going to order? and I can see straight away the price, the model number, extra information about it all in the context of my form. Now, this is not the same as a subgrid. A subgrid is what we use if we want to see a list of related records that are sort of child records in the hierarchy. This is the other way around. This is where we're using a lookup column. Let me take you through how we create and configure a quick view form. I'm starting in make.powerapps.com, navigating to my solution and opening the equipment ordering solution where I've built my app. Now there are two parts to building out my quick view form. The first thing is to build the actual quick view form itself. And in this case, I'm going to be using the equipment table that because I'm going to build this little component that has information about the equipment, the model number, the price and so on. So that's our first part. Our second part then is going to be taking that and putting it on the equipment order form. So I'm going to start by clicking through to the equipment table in my solution, choosing the forms option and going in here and adding a quick view form. We're in our form editor, but you'll notice that there are some things that are restricted here. We don't have the full properties of a form because this one has some special properties. If I go into the components menu, for instance, you'll see I can't add additional tabs or columns or anything like that, although I can add a subgrid. So stick with me to the end and I'm going to show you some fun things that we can do with that. So to get started here, let's just bring our table columns on. So this is our equipment. The equipment name is already going to be on the main form. We don't need to repeat it here. So we're going to bring in the other things. So we're going to bring in the equipment type. We are going to bring in the model number. Let's grab the price, the rating, and we can also bring in an image. So I've got an image in here, an image field. So we can bring that equipment image in there as well, just for fun to get the picture. All right, that's the extent of creating the quick view form. We're going to save and publish and put that back on our main equipment order form and see how it looks. Our next step is to put it on the equipment order form. So I'm going to click through into here and we're going to edit the existing form that we've already got for equipment order by navigating through into forms and selecting the form where we want this to be. In this case, I'm going to use the main form. Now the prerequisite here is that you need to have a lookup on this form to the data table that you want to display, obviously. So this is an equipment order and we have a look up here to the equipment where we can go in and select our super ergonomic desk chair. So this is where we can put our quick view form. So what I'm going to do over here is go into my components menu. I'm going to go down here and select quick view, and then it will allow me to choose from any of the lookups that are already on this form. So this is where you'll find if you don't have it, <laughs> you'll have to add it in. So I'm looking up equipment and then I can select my quick view form, which I just created and done. Now it's put it in the wrong spot. I wasn't careful about where my mouse was. No drama. We can just drag it down to where it should have been. And that can go inside the section where I've put the equipment or I could have created a whole new section for it, depending on how I want that to look on the form. All right, shall we save and publish and have a look at what I've done? Back in my app, I'm going to create a new equipment order. Let's go in and give it an order reference number. And then I'm going to jump straight to the <laughs> good part here, which is to look up the equipment. So let's order our super, super, uh, I can never say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now we've got all this information here. Look at this. That's just popped up straight away with information about it. So in the context of placing my order, I've got all this information about the thing that I'm ordering, the price, the model number, the image and everything. And I can go ahead and save that. Now I did point out earlier that the, you can also put a subgrid onto this. So what we're going to do next is say, all right, well, there's ratings there. What if I also wanted to see all of the related ratings in a subgrid there? Let's go back and add that into the form. So this is where I was. But remember, I've created this particular component back on the equipment table. So I need to go back over there to put it in. Let's do that. Back to my equipment table forms and the quick view form that I created earlier to go back in and edit it. I'm going to go in and add my subgrid component here. We'll drag that underneath. 
I've done a whole other video going more into subgrids if you'd like to know more information about that. What we want to do here is say which related records do I want to display. In this case I'm going to pick up the reviews and I'm going to choose which view I want to see. I've only got my active reviews in there and we're going to click done and that will just drop that into the form. One little bit of tidy up here. This default label is terrible so let's just get rid of that and give it a more sensible name and then guess what? Save, publish. Now because I've already added this into my equipment order form I don't need to go back and do anything else over there. It's already there. I've updated it. It's the same form so it's going to pick up those changes. Now that I've published that we'll go back into the app and give this a refresh and see what happens. Let me just zoom down the uh, view of my screen so that we can start to get all of this goodness in one place and you'll get a sense of it. So now inside my equipment order I've got what I had before. I've got the lookup. I've got all that information and I can see those reviews that have come in that have brought that rating in. So that's your quick view form. That's bringing in read only information. There are two other awesome things that I really want to show you about being able to bring related information onto a form. One of them is a form control component which does something similar to this except that you will be able to edit it and the other one is bringing a canvas app inside your model driven app form. We're bringing the apps together. Make sure you check out my other videos to learn how to do those things and I will see you there.